Freelancing is one way which you can be able to skate through in the online space and make a lot of money for yourself. And one platform which you can be able to use in making a lot of money for yourself is you using Upwork. Upwork is one platform which a lot of people come in and see a lot of freelancers who come in and look for jobs and get started with it. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can be able to create an Upwork account, verify it and then get started with it and start setting up a gig in order for you to start making money for yourself. If you are joining me for the first time on this channel, my name is Kelly Chelly Franklin and all I do on this channel is to share tips and tricks, strategy, once you work, I come here, I share them with you. You also try the same and you also get the same result. All you just need to do right now is to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification icon so that you don't miss any of my videos. So let's get started. In order for you to sign up on Upwork, the very first thing you need to do is to go to Upwork.com. All you just need to do is open a new tab, go to Upwork.com, Upwork. Dot com. Then once you click on Upwork.com, it will bring you to this very next page yeah. you can see here where you have the option to see the different analytics of what Upwork entails or what you can be able to do with Upwork and all of that. You can decide to go through all of these things. You can see the different things which you can, you can decide to find a job. You can see why it's important for you to sign up on Upwork. You can see the review. You can see the success and how Upwork hires individuals and how to find a job. This is what you can be able to find in the analysis. You can decide to go through all of these things before you sign up on Upwork. So all you just need to do right now after you must have reviewed all of these things right now is to come to this right hand corner here you see login and sign up. All you just need to do is to click on the sign up button. And once you click on the sign up button, it will bring you to this very next page. You will see the option here saying that you should join us as a client or as a freelancer. So you have the option to choose these two options, whether to join as a freelancer or as a client who wants to hire people to do jobs for them. All you just need to do right now is to click on this. I am a freelancer looking for a job or work. You click on apply. Now, once you click on apply, it will now give you this drop down menu in order for you to be able to choose which option when you wish you want to use in logging in or signing up. Now you have the option for you to be able to choose whether you want to sign up with your Google account or using your Apple to sign up. So right here I'm going to be using my Google account to sign up and I'll choose one of my Google accounts which I want to use in signing up in this particular platform and then get started with it. I wait, I'm waiting for some moments in order for you to review and as you can see I've been able to be logged in with my email account and here they are telling me to sign up with my country all I have to do right now is to allow it automatically it has been able to choose that I am from Nigeria I'll leave it like that then here I see send an email with tips on how to find talent that fits my need all you need to do if you don't want to be receiving email from Upwork you can decide to uncheck this then you come down here you also check the i understand the terms and condition of Oppo. once you do this you click on create account so it will take you to the very next page where you need to now have to fill in some other information that you need to do right now you can see that it says your account has been successfully created it's redirecting me to where i have to do or fill in other information in which is important so I need to verify my account that's one thing so i'm looking for an email and it says here hey glitchy franklin ready for your next big opportunity answer the few questions and start building your profile and here it says apply for open job open role service get paid safe and know where there is there is help okay all you just need to do right now is to click on get started once you click on get started you have the option now to answer these few questions which are very important for your account to be verified in this aspect now you need to tell upwork what you are coming to do and here they say this is this is us knowing how much help to give you along along the way share your answers with anyone else including potential clients so these are information upwork want to know all you just need to do is to fill in the information and answer it now and the first question here is first have you ever freelanced before all you just need to do is to select the option whether you have freelance before. I have not freelance before. All I have to do is to click on no, I have not freelance before. Then it will take me to the very next page telling me, uh, asking me some other few questions. As you can see here, they say, so what's your biggest goal for freelancing? What's my biggest goal in freelancing? So I have to choose an option here too. All I have to do is to choose this first one telling me to earn main income. You have to make money 
on the side you have to experience so i can find full time job and all of that so i'll choose this first one to to earn my main income and as you can see here the very next thing they are asking here is how would you like to work in upwork and as you can see here they say they have three options whether i would like to find opportunities myself i would like to package of my work for client to buy i would like to up i would like upwork to act as a re recruiter i love that so i'll choose this first one i would like to find opportunity myself so once i click on it i'll go down here and then click on next to create my profile so once i click on next to create my profile you can see here it's nice and okay so right here now they are asking me how would you like to how would you like to tell us about yourself right here you have the opportunity to give them your access to your linkedin account or upload your resume and all of that i'll choose this last one which is fill out manually by 15 minutes i'll click it then as you can see here they say got it now add a title to tell the world what you do and right here now you need to take note of what i'm going to be doing here so that your account will be verified as soon as possible many accounts are not being verified because of the information they put in in this particular aspect and they tend not to go ahead to do what they want to do so right here now all you just need to do right now is to fill in the information and here i'm going to give you them the information that i do mobile app developing so right here i'll tell them that i'm a mobile developer mobile app developer and then i'll click on next once i click on next it will take me to the very next page where it will bring you telling you that you should add a relevant work experience here right here i don't have any work experience right now all i have to do is just do right this is a new account so i'll just leave it blank here i'll come down here and put not nothing to add click on the box then i'll go to next you know this is a new account so i just want to create it and show you how you can be able to create it right now and all of that so this is the next page to bring you after you must have skipped that one telling you to put your job experience and all of that you don't have any job experience. i'm just feeling as if i am a new person and upwork so this is how you just need to fill it so the next thing in which you will be seeing here now is for you to put in your language and for you to put in your language you leave it at english they will ask you what's your preference or just leave it at fluent so i'll click on it as you can see here just put it as fluent and once you put it as fluent you go to the next icon so guys in this very next page you will see the drop down menu here telling you that you should tell them what your work entails or what you do what work are you here to do and you will see a drop down menu here giving you three different suggestions all you just need to do is to choose there and then give them the work you could do and once you are done there you go to the next page and then now in the next page you need to write a little description about yourself or what you do or what your work entails or what you can do and this it doesn't mean that you need to write something lengthy just something brief in order for people to uh know what you do and all of that in your bio so once you have been able to write a little description of yourself all you just need to do is go to the next page and it will take you to this next page where it's asking you what are the main services you offer and here all you just need to do is to come down here and then you select what you do all you just need to do is to select mobile and software development and they're asking is it blockchain and nft cryptocurrency i'll just click on desktop application development and once i click on it it will take me to the very next page okay now in this very next page they're asking you let us set your hours rating this is where you need to put in your amount in which you need to charge per hour on what you are doing let me just say that here i'm charging just 15 dollars per hour and as you can see here if i'm charging 15 dollars per hour upwork service fee will be 30 dollars and i will receive a total of 120 us dollar all of that the part of it is that upwork can pay you with your paypal account and your pioneer account since pioneer is being accepted it's very important that you link your pioneer account which is more easier and better for you to do if you have not created a pioneer account you can go to my channel or i will leave the link in the description of this video in which you can be able to use in creating an account for yourself in my channel here i've been able to create how you can be able to create a, a pioneer account and all of that and how you can be able to create a paypal account as well so do well to check it out i'll leave the link in the description do well to check it out and all of that so once you have been able to put in the amount the hourly rating you how much you receive at the end of your service and all of that 
you click on next this is where you need to put in your profile picture and all of that in this particular area where you need to put in your profile picture you need to upload a clear picture of yourself show you who you are now you need to be professional in this all you just need to do is to go to your desktop or your browser select a picture which is very clear and neat which you can be able to use in order for you to um in order for you to be able to show the audience or people so you need to be professional in this so you need to be professional all you just need to do is to set it out effectively and all of that so once you have been able to do this the next thing you need to do is to save the picture it should be clear something professional so that this is the first thing people see once they come to see your profile and all of that so you allow it to load up and as you can see it has been verified and all of that now in this aspect here they are asking you what's your home address so you need to just put in your home address put in your 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 zip code your city and your phone number these are very important if you don't know how to put in your you know if you don't if you don't know your zip code all you just need to do is to go to google then type uh your code your zip code let me see i'm, I'm in portal code portal code zip code all, all i just need to do is to go to google here i just type portal code postal code and once I type on Potaco Postal Code, you will see different drop down menu. Do the same thing to different places you are, wherever you are. You just need to do this to put it in and all of that. You will see your postal code and all of that. So I will just come back here, put in my address and all of that. So, guys, once you have been able to put in all your information, all you just need to do is to click on check your profile and it will take you to the very next page in which you need to understand that your account has been verified. So I'm waiting for it. So this is a preview of all my information that I've been able to set up right now and all of that. Just mind you that whatever information you have been able to put after your account has been approved, you can go and update it. I just use mobile app developer. I'm not a mobile app developer. All I just need is to use it in order for my account to be approved. Once my account has been approved, I can now be able to use it. I can now be able to go and change it at my on my profile account. So. All I have to do right now, as you can see here, everything has been done. My work experience, I don't have any work experience right here. All I have to just do right now is to click on submit. And I'm waiting for it to be verified and all of that. It doesn't take time. It doesn't take time. Oh, you, as you can see right here, you say nice work. A little frankly, your profile is ready. So as you can see now, my account has been set up and my profile is ready. I can now decide to browse for job i can now decide to go to my view my profile so if i decide to go to view my profile it will bring me to my home page on it so as you can see now my account has been done effectively i've been able to create an account effectively and all of that so the very next thing now i have to do is to decide to go and look for a job so how do i do that that's what i'm going to show you so right now i can now decide to go to this open here you see at this top corner here yeah, you see find work my job report message you can now decide to find a job by clicking on find a job you go to find a job here it's loading up and as you can see this is my profile this is my information here and you can see if you check here you will see that uh, i have 50 available connect this 50 available connect that you are seeing here is what is giving it like a coin in which i can use in sorting or looking for a job that i can do and all of that and if you go to this area here you will see that the jobs that are available for my profile the jobs that are available for me that are related to what i do you can see this web developer and software and these are jobs that i can do that is recommending upwork is recommending that i should apply for and all of that if i apply for any of this job i'll be charged from this my 50 available connect this 50 available connect is like a con i explained it reduces if you apply for a particular job they can charge you four four uh connects you, you can be charged four connect five connects depending on the job that you are applying for you can decide to buy a connect to in order for you to apply for more jobs and all of that let me say that i'm looking for a job right now that i want to create or go for this job all i have to do is just to click on this particular stuff and remember you can also go and change your profile so that you can be able to get what you are looking for uh, you have blah, blah, blah. okay this an ad so uh, once i have been able to reach here now all i have this is the job right now as you can see it's a web developer and they say full stick developer 
uh, uh, it's a worldwide job. That means you can stay at anywhere you are, whether you're in Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, wherever you are in the world, you can apply for this job and you get it. Uh, you can see right here and all of that. So if you look here right now, you can see that they say send the proposal is just to connect for you to be able to send this particular proposal. And they say the available connect that you have is $50. And if you look at here about the client, this is important now. When it comes to about the client, check it very well because there are a lot of scammers on this particular freelancing website. So if you are not careful, you'll be scammed or you can do a job at the end of the day, you will not be paid. So in order for you to ensure that this particular job is authentic, always check the payment method verify. If it's verified, know that this job can be done. And if you look here very well, they say this uh, uh, job was posted 25 minutes ago, as you can see here. So it's very, very fresh and nobody has applied right now. Okay. One job posted. This individual just uh, applied for this job and all of that. And this is the amount. The fixed price is $420. In which this uh, uh, job applied for. All you just need to do right now is just for you to come to this area to come and submit your proposal. All you just need to do is to come here and click on submit proposal and once you click on submit proposal that is to show that you want to apply for the job once you click on it it will bring you to this very next page as you can see use connect to submit the proposal so this is for those who want to purchase it but already once you create an account you have already 50 connect for yourself for free and every month you are entitled to 50 connect and all of that so all you just need to do right now is look at the job detail right now. Once you come here, you look at the job description, what the job entails and all of that. So these are the skills that you require in order for you to apply for this job and all of that. So the person will be a web developer and all of that. Just go through it and all of that. So once you come down here now, you can see how where you can be able to put in your information, write a brief description about the, the job, how you can be able to uh, do the job, what you can do. You can decide to give a discount and all of that. You just give the information here and then you can decide to upload a, an attached document in which you want the person who is applying for the job to have in mind that you can do or you are qualified for the job and all of that. All of these things boost your, your option for you to get this job. And remember, you are not the only one going for this job. There are a lot of people going uh, applying for this job. And as you can see here, you are going to be charged three connect in order for you to be able to get this job so once you are done writing this application all you just need to do is to send this information to the individual and you get you wait for some time the person will connect you in order for you to get the job so this is it guys this is how you can be able to create your account set up your account verify it and all of that remember in your profile you can if you want to change your profile right now go to your profile edit it in order for you to start getting the job that you're looking for you can decide to start searching for job the kind of job you want and all of that if this video was helpful don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to turn on the notification icon so you don't miss any of my subsequent videos and all of that see you on my next video stay safe peace